I'm back here in the wheat penny yard. Uh, I started over on the far side and got to digging a bunch of iron, so I come back over where I got all the wheat the other day, and I got a 44, can you imagine that? And some clad, and I just dug this old car up. I mean, this thing is cool, but it's it's been mashed. There's the other side. That'd have been so awesome. Cool, I'll clean that up and show you later. Now I'll pop my plug. And I got a spoon or a fork or something. And it's in the hole. Pretty good. Let's get it out of there. It looks like it's plated. I don't know what's what it is. <laughs> Cool looking critter. Hard to do this right handed, left handed. I am gonna shut this off, I'll get back with you. Ain't no wonder. Bent like a ladle. That is one big old spoon. I guess it's copper. It darn sure ain't silver. What's cool though, I'll clean it up and show it to you later. That's the biggest spoon I ever found. I ain't big one. All right, later. I got a token. No clue. Light, feels like aluminum. Five, good for five cents. Can't read, it's getting late. I'll clean it up. Show it to you later. Good for five something. Oh, that's interesting. Yeehaw. Here's a little cleanup from a little hour hunt I went on yesterday in that yard I hit the other day. I went over to the far side past where they've been parking and just full of iron over there. I mean, just digging all kinds of stuff. I thought this was kind of cool. I think it's a big old buckle of some kind. Big round thing. I don't know. It's a big chunks of iron. I think that's an old roller skate wheel. Not sure what some of this is. It's got some old square nails. Kind of iron collar. Just odds and ends. I, I was just digging almost every signal I hit. Uh, there's got to be some silver in there. Well, there's a couple of modern day tabs in the, right out by the parking area. Uh, some better stuff. I didn't film everything. I didn't want to get too long and boring. Uh, Avon lipstick case. Hang on, let me get my light on. I ain't got my light on in here. There. Voila. Avon lipstick case. Wild cherry. Copper. Not sure what this is. I'm thinking it's some type of throttle linkage. Off of something that's copper though. I've never seen one of them. Got the little catch for a cable, I'm thinking, for a choke cable. I don't know. Interesting. A big old copper spoon. That's pretty sweet. I kind of bent it there trying to get it out. Uh, it's got some writing on it, but something Elgin is all I can make out. I don't know what that first letter is, but it doesn't matter. It's just plated, but it's a kind of a colonial looking old spoon. I don't know what it is. It's neat. Not sure what this is. Somebody can help me out. It's copper. I kind of figured it was like off an old gallus. Like suspender gallus or I'm not sure. Kind of cool. 
little car keychain. These people were kind of big in automotive. They always messing in cars and things. This here, I cannot pull a, anything off of that. I tried. Bigger than a 22, smaller than a 30 caliber. I'm guessing it is a 25, maybe. Don't know. It's kind of interesting. Uh, got a little clad, quarter, two dimes, two pennies, one zinker. The, uh, the old race car is about 1920. There was an old fin on the back. You can see right there the it says TT Tootsie Toy. Pretty cool. Shame he was broke in half. It ain't all there anyway, but still yet. Pretty cool race car. Now I got a there's a 1940 and you imagine a 44D. That's the fifth one of them out of that yard. I don't understand why all the 40s are in there. It must have been about the time the kids were playing out there a lot. I don't know. This is a five cent token. I've never seen one of these before and I can't hardly find anything on the internet about them. Just not much. Five for good for five cents in merchandise. This is Missouri State Penitentiary for use inmates only. J. M. Sanders, Warden. <clears throat> I just thought that was so cool. I assumed it was aluminum, but it—I mean, it's real light. But being copper colored like that, it made me wonder. It looks like a V-nickel. I mean, when I first pulled it out, that's what I thought it was, but of course it ain't. I did a little research on Missouri State Penitentiary. This would have been about early 30s, 37. You can find some newspaper clippings with this warden's name, this J. J. M. Sander, Sanders. And uh, back then, the Missouri State Penitentiary was called the bloodiest 47 acres in the United States. Housed all kinds of mean critters. Uh, Pretty Boy Floyd was there. I don't know. There was a whole list of things. And of course, had riots in the 50s. And it's kind of interesting reading when you uh, do a little study on it. But pretty much my wrap up for today. Uh, like I said, hour long hunt. Got dark on me. We got big storms coming in the next two days. I don't know if I'll get back up there or not. So, anyway, I guess uh, when I do, I'll be sure and show you what I'll get. Hopefully, we'll find some more silver or some old stuff. Got to be some more old coins in there. Got to be. Till then, happy hunting. Thank you for watching. God bless.